Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Yes, we're doing Prime Racing, 2018 Panini Prime Racing, one box, random number block break number four from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Big thanks to Ryan Redman, who got the last five spots in this. So now these guys right here don't have to keep waiting. So thanks, Ryan. Thanks, everybody, for getting spots in this. Um, pretty underrated product, I think. So give it a shot, especially with, I think, Daytona 500s in late February, mid-late mid, mid late February, something like that. So NASCAR just around the corner. One and five, six times for each list. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Ray down to Ryan. And then six times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good luck. After six times, two, down to three. All right, so Ray, you have two. Ryan, you have zero. And any and all redemptions will go to you as well, including one of one redemptions. Blake, seven. Brian, four. Ryan, five and six. Nick Barr with eight. Blake with nine. Ryan, last spot mojo, one. And you also have three. Now, I think it's just Ryan watching right now, so I don't think there's going to be any trades. So let's print and let's rip. All right, and there's the final list right there. Print it out so it's official on a Friday. Now, I think most of you know by now, if you know me, you know that I enjoy putting down a small wager or two on this. I made a futures bet back in 2018 on Joey Logano and a few other drivers to win the 2018 Monster Energy Cup, and he did it. I was stunned. So now, of course, I'm a uh, I'm on NASCAR Sharp. So check back in February, ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you my my best picks, my best NASCAR picks, futures bets, and everything too. I'll give you I'll give you the the lowdown, the analysis, everything you need to turn a profit in your NASCAR futures bets. <laughs> All right. We've got Terry Labonte, 14 out of 25. That goes to Brian D. in the number four. I don't remember. I remember Bobby Labonte. Don't remember Terry. But I do remember the Kellogg's Corn Flakes car. Can't forget that. We got Chase Elliott. He was also one of my picks. Six out of 28 out of 25. Triple Relic, Race Use Relics. Sheet metal. It's pretty cool. Number eight going to Nick Barr. We got 46 out of 50. Kurt Busch, clear silhouette. I think that's a piece of the tire. Maybe a fire suit and then tire. But race use material. How cool is that? That goes to number six, Ryan Redman. I keep mixing the him and Kyle Bush up. Who was the one who had a, who had like a le, a legitimately kind of crazy girlfriend who he thought was a Russian spy or something like that? Is that Kurt or Kyle? Forget. We got a die. Well, we got Kurt Bush's autograph now. Twenty six out of ninety nine. Another one. For Ryan Redman. There you go. That's a cool die cut, too.
It's a nice autograph as well. Prime number, die cut autograph, Trevor Bain. It's a lower number, 5 out of 10. That goes to Ryan Redmond with the number 5. I've got nothing for you on Trevor Bain. Um, out of 50, William Byron, 17 out of 50, dual relic and autograph. Number seven, that's for Blake. We got more sheet metal. Kaz Grala, 23 out of 50. There's the sheet metal right there. You kind of see the reflection there. Number three, Ryan Redman. I guess that's it for the autos. Sorry, I thought the relics, there are two autos on the bottom. And we've got a quad relic, tires, Chris Bell, 16 out of 50. And there you go. Ryan Redman with the number six. Good break for you. Quad, I mean, that's pretty cool. Hope they do uh they do an NT NASCAR. They did NT NASCAR a little while back. And it was really kind of sick actually. So there you go. Thanks, Ryan, for filling up that break. Thanks everybody for getting in. Random number block break four in the books. I think we only have a couple boxes left, so keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com and we will race with you next time. Bye bye.